All right, let's create moody beauty portraits in low light. Moody beauty portraits in low light. That's a tongue twister. Say it over and over again. Tough to say. Let's get to it. So she looks absolutely stunning. Love the boots, uh, lingerie, the jacket, the whole outfit, the hair, makeup. So she's looking stunning. We want to work this staircase. Uh, do me a favor, Elle, can you go close those curtains? Just be careful with them. Um, and so what we're using here, as I, I hate to admit it, uh, is a Godox <laughs> wand. Uh, but to be fair, it's actually well built. Uh, and so this is about, I think, 100 bucks. Uh, and it does daylight balance and tungsten. Uh, so at the flip of a switch. And to give you perspective, uh, the daylight balance as we flip over is only at 29% power right now. So this thing will put out a lot of power uh, on her, right? And so if you're doing boudoir, beauty, this is, should absolutely be in your bag. Uh, if you're doing night shots for weddings, this absolutely should be in your, in your bag. I'm using aperture priority in a manual way. So for me, this is too low. So I'm gonna go up to, let's say 15%. See, I'm controlling spill. You don't see a whole lot of spill, right? So here now, I'm just gonna zoom in. This isn't a shot I want, but I'm at a 60th of a second. So I can move, I can start cranking up my ISO and really start doing stuff like this, right? So hang tight, let me show you this. So now using aperture priority, I'm underexposing and I'm at 200th of a second. So let's say I go to 3,300, okay, turn it towards her. Let's watch what happens now. So I'm gonna go to Kelvin, and I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to Kelvin temp, 3,300. I just want you to see what's gonna happen in here now. Look at me, here we go. Now, we're, now I'm gonna start shooting, but Ellie, your hand's in my frame, so I need you to back up. Uh, come towards me. Okay, let me make sure that light, is it on? Let me see that. You can actually hit your magnifying glass and zoom in on her face. So now I can see, I can zoom in 15X to see her exposure. All right, so there you have it. So you don't have to be intimidated in low light situations. Get yourself a continuous light source. You will be able to create incredible images. Let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite image. And if you wanna see more videos like this, like, comment, and subscribe for more.